Police search for the suspect in a Frisco Main Street hit and run. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. One fatality, three serious injuries, and a hit and run topped the news from a hectic past week on local roads. First, the Grand County Coroner today identified a man killed in a high-speed wreck outside Granby last week. 49-year-old Freddie Carrillo of Grand Lake died after allegedly eluding cops on US-40, crashing his Range Rover at over 100 miles per hour. Sky High News reports he struck a Subaru. The female driver was airlifted with serious injuries. Next, from Highway 9 outside Green Mountain Reservoir, a two-car head-on collision sent nine of ten passengers to the hospital Sunday. One man and one woman are in serious condition. They have not been ID'd yet. And State Patrol confirms four victims were youth, including two 12-year-old boys not wearing seatbelts. Finally, Frisco police are looking for the suspect in a hit-and-run from yesterday morning when a 12-year-old boy was struck at 6th and Main Street downtown. He suffered minor injuries. Police have no leads. The search continues today for a Denver man missing on Pyramid Peak near Aspen. The Aspen Times reports the 66-year-old man went missing on that 14er Sunday afternoon when he split from his group. Two search teams and a helicopter found nothing yesterday. They're back in the field today. That final ascent on Pyramid is Class 3 to 4 scrambling. A child prostitution sting in Glenwood Springs this past weekend led to nine arrests, all men, including a firefighter, antique dealer, and accountant. The Post Independent reports the nine men live in the high country, from Avon to Crested Butte, ranging in age from 29 to 60 years old. Most have no criminal records, and all face felony charges for soliciting child prostitution. A gypsum man has confessed to stealing bikes, power tools, and dozens of other items from six homes in the Vale area. The Vale Daily reports 30-year-old Edgar Sanz Lopez was arrested over the weekend and confessed yesterday. He faces burglary, theft, and trespassing charges for that opportunistic crime spree earlier this month, telling police, people in Vale have money, and I was hard up for cash. Ski.com's epic dream job is back for a second season, sending lucky videographers on a global ski tour, and this winter, they're choosing a dozen instead of one. A release from Ski.com says the company picks 12 ski bums this year and pays to fly them across the globe, visiting the U.S., Canada, Europe, and Japan. Last year's winner, 19-year-old Jackson Lebsick of Montana, filmed his exploits for an epic dream job video. Winners this year will do the same. Apply now at Ski.com slash dream job. Local fire danger remains moderate today with stage one restrictions. Fires are banned in undeveloped areas. In roadwork news, U.S. Highway 6 at Loveland Pass is back to alternating traffic in both directions with single lane closures during the day. Both lanes are open overnight from Keystone to Loveland. In sports, the Rockies beat the Mets yesterday 9-4. Tonight, the Rockies continue their home series with the Mets at 640. And in local sports, brought to you by American Family Insurance, the Weiss Agency, Summit High Boys Soccer plays Battle Mountain at home today, Lady Tigers Volleyball is in Aspen for Aspen, and the golf team plays a tournament at Vail Golf Club. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.